everybody. Uh, welcome to our special birthday fireside chat. Ten years it has been since Wild Earth has been bringing the wilderness to the world at large. L live. <laughs> That was beautifully timed. Well done. Thank May you. I compliment you on your comic timing? Thank you. Yes, wonderful. Okay, good. So, <laughs> we're going to have a 15 minute fireside chat here today to celebrate 10 years of Wild Earth. Now, of course, none of us have been here for that long. Uh, I've been here, well, but Jamie and I have been here. I feel like a veteran compared with Jamie. I've been here a week longer than she has. Yes, you did, ar you did basically arrive a week before me. Exactly. And so I'm definitely much senior to you. Um, obviously, I'm not. None of us have been here for the entire period and so this is a tribute of course to the people that have made this happen and it's been made of course by the tenacity of Graham Wallington we must definitely mention him obviously all the shareholders and directors of Wild Earth who've held faith there's an elephant in the background who've held faith with the whole story and kept it going for 10 years through some very dark and very difficult times and also probably most importantly to all of you who have watched some of you for a few months and some of you for well almost a decade now and so this is a mighty big thanks to all of you and here in fact are some of you Graham, i'm just going to see there's a very good place that i want to see if we can get good signal from there that's what i'd like to confirm you're going live <laughs> No way! The big male baboon's chasing her. Remember, you are watching this live. This is the most epic thing in the world, ever. But I just want to see what we can do. Let's just walk a little bit, see uh, how far we can go that way. Ten years ago, I came over from the Africam webcams and then somebody told me I had to go to Wild Earth webcam because they had this live streaming camera on top of a safari vehicle. Come and join us for a live safari here in Africa with Wild Earth. The drive was starting at Juma, so I got the link and I've been hooked ever since. I was searching the internet for a leopard documentary. <laughs> How fantastic is this? Stumbled upon Safari Live and gave it a watch and was hooked. I was put onto watching Safari Live by a very good friend. So I got to know the critters, creatures and characters. Um, I just became engrossed. Back in the day, there were only 80 slots available on this webcam. We had to strap it into the vehicle because if you lost your slot, that was it. No more safari for you that day. The other thing that's always so much fun is when they say, don't forget to send in those questions. And you send in a question, and the next thing you know, you're hearing your name. Susie from Illinois wants to know what the gestation period is for elephants. And to be able to view things like a leper cup from birth to dispersal is such a privilege. Look, this is unbelievable. Being able to participate in a virtual field trip with Safari Live has given us the opportunity to let our students experience something that otherwise they would not be able to do. If any of these kids from watching these drives continue their interest in wildlife conservation, you can't ask for anything better. Middle of the yes! Hopefully, it'll be able to grow and visit other countries like North America. Perhaps the Amazon or the Great Barrier Reef. Maybe in the ocean as well. Uh, it'd be a massive technical challenge, I'm sure, but really worthwhile. I would like to wish Emily and Graham and all the crew a happy Wild Earth birthday, and I hope to do the same thing in 10 years. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Wild Earth. Thank you all. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy, happy birthday, Wild Earth. You don't look a day over nine and a half. Thank you very much for all your support and for all your, um, your, your, your emails that come in and for your activity on the social network. We really appreciate everything that, um, that, that you do out there and we know that you really appreciate what we do. It's better than sliced bread. So that's just a little bit of history and the present, of course. Uh, wonderful to actually see some of the viewers, most of whom there are elephants who are very excited about this whole story as well, and they are shouting in the background. And how lovely to see the people that we hear from every day. Uh, we often, your 
your Twitter pictures are normally your cats actually at home or quite frequently or other pets or other animals and it was very nice to actually see what some of you look like and hear your voices and two, at least two of you have actually been here to visit us which is very special indeed. Byron? What do you have to Hello, say James. about the Hi. birthday as the <laughs> youngest member of our crew? I'm not, uh, yes, so the youngest member of the crew. Well, um, um, it's, it's actually it's a great privilege to be here. I mean, t 10 years. It's incredible. It really is amazing. So I'm going to lose my hat. I feel I'm the only one who brought my hat. I am, yes. I brought a feather. I brought a feather. But, you look um, like Hiawatha. <laughs> Pocahontas. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But um, yeah, it's a big privilege to be part of something like this um, 10 years down the line to see where it started to where it is now. It really is amazing. And um, um, it's so nice to hear from viewers and like you say, actually see faces, mm. people sending videos. It's an amazing, I think, uh, platform and mm. amazing thing for people to experience sitting at home, hopefully learning a little bit from you guys, not so much from me. But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> The bushwalk, Jamie, there looked completely different from what it looks like now. Oh, I've actually, I've had this conversation with a few people this week. I don't know why. I think it was Scott and Nikki's visit that made me feel nostalgic. And just the last two years, I think if we were to go back now, yeah. we would be utterly astounded at where we were versus where we are now. And that, I think, is the very special thing because you get to grow with us. You see it day to day, and it's like watching a child grow up. When you see it every day, it's fine. When you come back two years down the line, it's a completely different person. And mm. I feel that way about this company as well. Yeah. You're an explorer. I was just um, trying to say something funny, but then... I will say it. Be funny. Say, were you talking about the presenters growing up or the company growing? Because I was going to say, I don't think there's much... We, we still behave like... Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, I wasn't talking about the presenters. Certainly don't worry. some of us, yes. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Would you, would you, Eric was mentioning there that he hopes to see us go to different places. Oh. Where would you Ooh. like to go? Zambia. 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 Um, Zambia. I love it. I think it's fantastic and it's such a beautiful country and it's unexplored and not many people know about it. So that would be my dream destination. And then Sri Lanka is very appealing too, especially after our friends. You like tea, do you? I love tea. Love me a good cup of tea, James. Good. It's my favorite thing. Jamie loves it more though. She was dunking biscuits this morning. Was she? That's because she likes your biscuits. Tea or just your, <laughs> no. your tea and then tea. <laughs> All right, I let's bring this back. Myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we have now got a little clip to show of the presenters' current, uh, a little piece of their first drives. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I have watched this and I find it thoroughly amusing. <laughs> Morning everyone, um, 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 other than that we will just see what we can find. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Safari Live. My name is Tristan and this little branch signifies the start of new friendships when worn in a pocket. Okay, we're in, we're in. Good morning everyone. Um, quite an exciting first morning for me. Welcome to Juma, welcome to Safari Live. My name is James. Um, we're following a pride of lions, new lions for me, I've never seen them, I don't know who they are, so maybe you can help me out. Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce myself, I'm Jamie, and as Brent has already told you, I'm here to do my interview drive. A spectacular sighting of the leopard, Tangata, 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 Tangata. I was dangling off the back of Jamie's vehicle. Sorry, I've got a bit of an issue with my earpiece. It just equipped these vehicles with a new navigation system. And coincidentally, the voice on this one sounds like Jamie's. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Juma. My name is Byron, and uh, um, I'm going to be your guide for today. Oh, leopard, leopard. oh hang on. Hang on. We've got a leopard, we've got a leopard, um, it looks like, oh, it's moving. I like to think we've probably come some way since those first drives. Uh, tell her, talk us through the navigation device you were talking about. What exactly were you on about there? So if you didn't watch my interview drive, lucky you. <laughs> you, to, you were lucky there. Well, the navigation system was Jamie basically sitting on the back of the car. 
and I don't know why I thought it would be so funny. Maybe an icebreaker? I think that's maybe where I was going huh? with that. Um, <laughs> just trying to make a joke, settle you in for the rest of the silly things that I'm going to say on that drive. Didn't so. you also ask me if the, if I was wearing deodorant because the buffalo ran away from us? I probably did something like that too. <laughs> I mean, let's not dwell in the past. <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> the leopard uh, Tingata. Yeah, he's he, still alive. He must have died. He must have Tingata. He was Egyptian. Oh, Egyptian Tingata. leopard. I did hear of the, the great leopard Tingata. He was a great pharaoh. Four times. <laughs> yes. Tingata. 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 Beautiful. <laughs> Jamie, also your accent seems to have um, changed from that clip. From there, you sounded almost like you came from the same part of town as Byron, and yet that is not your normal speaking voice. What can I say? Yeah. I must have been nervous. <laughs> Changed. You've changed. I've changed. This job has changed me. You've lost your hat. And, uh, Byron, when you said um, you said, "Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna." Be your g guide. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Well, what am I going to do for you? Actually, I don't know. I'm going to be your guide. And then, while I was trying to introduce myself, that leopard walked in the frame behind us, and I was so flustered. I was like, I didn't expect this. And then I couldn't start the vehicle, the immobilizer, for some reason. And everybody shouting in my ear, press the button, press the button. Nothing worked. Lost like, the leopard. Like that song by the um, what was they called? The, Push the button. Yes. The sugar babe. Sugar, sugar babe. Yes. 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 That's all we need to know about that. Mm. You shouldn't have hooted the stick scubs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite. And uh, you did what you didn't see in that clip, of course, when we were going through it today. It was that you call them the stegs or something. Stigs. Uh, the stigs. The stigs. The stigs. <laughs> they were basically they were the car top races. Gear. Yeah, they Very were nice. Car the top gear. gear. The top gear pride of lions. Very good. Okay. And I think maybe we should also share uh, obviously we have a tremendous amount of fun while we're here we enjoy talking to you of course but I think for all of us well certainly for me and I'm going to let you all talk about this as well there's a greater purpose to this um, yes you would like to say something there are lions calling in the distance it, that wasn't what I was talking oh, about sorry. yes right I'm just giving you my microphone Right, Taylor, um, you may now start. What does this mean to you? Why do you do this job? You know, well, just being out in the bush every single day uh, is fantastic. And then, of course, bringing smiles to people's faces all around the world is, I think, a little bit well, something that we want to do every single day. And again, I, I've said this many, many times, you know, guiding was fantastic, it was great, but you were only guiding a minority of people. Majority of people that want to come on safari are unfortunately never able to afford it. It's not a, a cheap holiday, it really is quite costly. So the fact that we are able to provide something that everybody can watch from their homes to me, to the, to the less fortunate, to perhaps people that aren't doing so well and are in hospitals mm. or, you know, um, in hospices, that type of thing, I think is just amazing. So that's why I do it. Pajamas? Um, I'm on the same page as Taylor, and at the same time, I also feel like, in a way, short of actually being here and working out here, even coming on holiday doesn't give you the same impression of wildlife and conservation that what we do does. And for me, I have to say thank you, because the camera and I... I'm not exactly a natural at all, so your questions Rubbish. and your comments that you've sent through, it's made it real for me, and it made it like you were on the back of the vehicle. Good. Very nice. You are a natural in front of the camera. <laughs> Byron? Um, good question. Good question. I, Do you remember the question? I, yeah, I don't know. What, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's something we say. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's so different for me. You know, I still do a lot of guiding and, um, and you know, Taylor was saying it's completely different when you um, have people on your vehicle, you guiding a small group of people and you don't have this this huge following There's, these are people all over the world and it is a wonderful experience and it it is so different for me because I think I still guide people regularly and take them out and then mm. to do this when I don't have the interaction with the guests face to face it, it is different for me but I, I love it because 
and it's the reading comments afterwards. It's um, and you know, and I must be honest. And again, I'd just like to thank everyone for the wonderful birthday wishes. It was it was so nice to read comments from people all over the world that have never met me but have got to know me over the last year, year and a half. Wrap it up. And uh, sorry, it was great. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and James, but it in is amazing. Seconds. James, go ahead. <laughs> Um, for me, it's the chance to take the conservation message out to a huge number of people, from those little kids we talk to in the schools, from the people we've spoken to, many sick people, many of whom have subsequently passed on. And that's been very special. It's been very heart-wrenching. But it's taking the wilderness message uh, out into the wider world to people who wouldn't perhaps necessarily get it and then helping you, all of you who do get it, uh, to spread that message. And I think for me, that's a real kind of purpose behind getting up every day. So that's going to be it from us. We will see you tomorrow, of course, at... Uh which is still at 0600, isn't it? You were getting to that too. Well, thank you. Yeah, right. Good. Okay, for the last 20 seconds, we're going to be singing Happy Birthday in Shitsonga. <laughs> See you in the morning. Bye. 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 See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>